Ladies and gentlemen, the 42nd President of the United States, Bill Clinton. Hot as a blue, shoots up through the stony ground. There's no room, no space to rent in this town. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gene and Cameron, Lucy Garvin, Mayor Dinkins, the Arthur's teammates, Bob Lutz, Stan Smith, Donald Dell. We are here in the stadium named for him to honor a man who rose from Richmond's segregated tennis courts to win the U.S. Open, Wimbledon, and more than 800 other matches. With a remarkable combination of ability, intelligence, effort, and persistence. The same qualities enabled him to win the heart of a wonderful woman, to be a good father to a fine daughter, and to open the doors of dreams to others, whether fighting apartheid through tennis in South Africa or giving young people from disadvantaged backgrounds the chance to play tennis. The Harlem Junior Tennis Program that he used to participate in himself is still alive and well not far from my foundation's office. And today, thanks to a dream Arthur Ashe once had, 25% of the young people who participate in that program win college tennis scholarships. Arthur Ashe's great heart began to wear out too soon in his early 30s. Over the space of five or six years, he had two open heart surgeries. In the second one, a transfusion of contaminated blood gave him the HIV virus, something that would have broken many people and embittered them. It began what he called his days of grace. I met him in 1992 when his disease was far advanced and he had established a foundation to combat AIDS. He had spoken to the United Nations about the need to face it and not to discriminate against those who were afflicted. Arthur Ashe passed away two weeks and three days after I took the oath of office. A few months later, I invited Gene to the White House so that I could award him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. I only knew him at the end, in a wonderful meeting, a few phone calls, but his presence was luminous because his spirit got stronger at his, as his body weakened. So I ask you all to remember this. Arthur Ashe was a champion in the contest that matters most, life itself. Thank you.